Hey, Jamar, man, I just wanted to give you a video response because, frankly, the answer that I had was a little bit too long to type. So I thought I'd just throw this out here real quick uh, while I was in front of the computer. The difference to me between Gene Smith and Gus Bradley, your current head coach, and David Caldwell, your current GM, is uh, let's start first with Gene Smith being a lifetime Jaguar. This guy was a Jaguar through and through. He'd been with the franchise for a long time, but... When I look at G. Smith and his body of work with the Jacksonville Jaguars, to me, there was never any direction. There was never any purpose to what he was doing. I never looked at his drafts, and you guys didn't have a lot of picks when he was the GM. And, and that was another problem. You're supposed to build this team through the draft. But you guys didn't have a lot of draft picks. The only year you had more than six draft picks was 2009, his first year as GM. He had eight. Other than that, it was six, it was four, it was five. And so I never really saw what I was looking for in terms of that next step. With him as the GM, there was supposed to be a shift from, you know, the older players, the Donovan Dariuses of the world, your defensive tackles. And of course, I'm talking about Stroud and Henderson. You were supposed to be moving on from guys like that, bringing in and ushering in a new group of guys, guys like Derek Harvey and guys like that. They didn't work out. It didn't work out in Jacksonville. And so Quentin Groves, it was just a mess. And so year after year, the bad moves, the bad picks. And then the last straw, the final straw that broke the camel's back was the Blaine Gabbert pick. Because not only did you select Blaine Gabbert in the first round, you traded up. Remember, the Redskins held that pick. You moved up to get Blaine Gabbert and allow the Redskins to move back and take a couple of your picks. So, again... Those moves all coupled together, plus the lack of direction for me, to me, is why Gene Smith is no longer there and why I think that this new group in there, David Caldwell, who, to me, has a lot of respect around the league and he has a lot of respect for me. He's coming from the Falcons and they do it a different way in Atlanta. Remember, Thomas Dimitrov is the GM in Atlanta. He comes from New England, so he's from that New England tree and they just do it a different way. Look, Dimitrov and the Falcons have about 10 draft picks this season, and they're a team that almost made it to the Super Bowl. So you see how they're doing it. It's a little different in Atlanta. That's what David Caldwell is going to bring to your team. You had an abundance of draft picks, and there was direction this year in your draft, which is something I haven't seen from you in a long time. This draft was made to be faster. Look, this team needs to be faster in 2013. Jacksonville Jaguars have not been a fast team for a while now. And so you get guys on your football team who are going to make you faster, more athletic right away. I think that Gus, Gus Bradley is going to bring a defensive-minded approach to your football team. I think the Jaguars have always been a defensive football team, but you need to be more so now than ever because your offense isn't where you want it to be. And so you've got to stop teams from scoring points in order to give yourself a chance to win. Gus Bradley will do that. He'll bring a different mentality to your football team. And I think that the mentality that David Caldwell has is, look, let's just get faster right now, more athletic. We'll worry about getting stronger in different areas of the football team. Let's just get more athletic right now. Let's just be a better football team in terms of speed. We won't be out quick. We won't be a team that's just slower than the opposition. If they beat us, they'll beat us because they're just a better football team, not because they're just more athletic than we were. I felt like in 2012, teams just beat you because they were more athletic than you. You guys gave maximum effort. It just, it just wasn't there. They were better teams, and they were more athletic. You go out, you get guys like A. Sanders. You add another guy to the mix, like Denard Robinson. That tells me I want to be a faster football team. And I like that. I like the direction that this team is going in. I like the draft that you had in 2013. It's something that you can build upon. And so I think that the Jacksonville Jaguars are going in the right direction. You look at Gene Smith. He drafted 25 players in four years, from 2009 to 2012. He drafted 25 players. Only 13 of those players remain on the roster. And while that's more than half, you'd hope to hit at a bigger percentage, especially when we're talking about a four-year window. A lot of those guys have just hit their rookie contracts. They should still be on your roster. If they're good football players, they'll still be on your roster. They're not. And so you look at his 2009 draft, you only have one player remaining from that draft. And, and that's Eugene Monroe, Derek Cox, Terrence Knighting, all of those guys no longer on your football team. 
So it's like a whole draft gone, vanished. And so those type of things can't happen. And the last straw for me, forget about Blaine Gabbert. He drafted a punter, Brian Anger, in the third round. I can't allow it. I don't believe in selecting punters in the first five rounds of the draft. If you want to take a punter in the sixth or the seventh round, be my guest. You can't select a punter in the third round. It's not allowed. He did that. That's a cardinal sin for me. And so I just didn't like what Gene Smith brought to the table. I think you're going in the right direction with David Caldwell, the guy who understands how to make this thing work, especially through the draft. He's going to build this team up in a different manner. And now all he has to do is find his quarterback because I don't think Blaine Gabbert is that guy in Jacksonville. But that was a great question you asked. That's the answer. Too long to write down, so I gave you a video response. Hope this was informative. Have a good one.